Go. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, I'm MMA for Self Defense. Everyone, please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan the Wolfman 1. I give you a lot of content for free for now, so please enjoy it. I'm trying to advance the sport of MMA, trying to advance self, self defense. Um, not that I know everything, but I definitely think outside the box, and I, I've trained in many different martial arts, so I can uh, blend things very well. Okay, we showed some crazy Saunders guard, now I'm going to show some crazy three quarter knee in guard specifically for MMA. Um, I like to play a lot of half guard lockdown as long as you watch for the Indian death lock, look up that video. Good guard to play, I like to go in for the electric chair sweep submission. I get that a lot from the lockdown. A lot of times in MMA though, you can't get the lockdown right away because a good wrestler is going to take you down at an angle with a high double and things or a big Osoto guard out of reap throws. You're going to be uh, Uchimadas and stuff, you're going to be landing at an angle. What I mean by that is, we're not center line to center line with the lockdown. Look at my legs. So here's a nice pinching knees lockdown that hurts him. Okay, he's almost ready to tap. But a lot of times in MMA, you land more like this. Okay? I don't like playing the typical jujitsu triangle grip. But when you get taken down, you have to play this sometimes because you can't hit in to get the lockdown. Also, this guard is good not to stay there in this loose kind of met for he guard, but it's good to be able to transition into what I call the three quarter knee in guard. Guys do use this in gi jiu jitsu, but I'm showing you how to apply it in MMA. I can push off, hit out, boom, here, and lock my feet together. Okay? This is a three quarter guard, it's not a half guard. The reason why is, like, the reason why is it locks his hip. Okay, try and push it in. Try to reach me with the punches. Boom, boom. Okay, and then I can underhook and I can go to deep half sweeps and everything else. This actually, he, he's killing him. The next ten, 10 minutes are going to kill him. Scoot this way a little bit. Um, three quarter knee in guard is actually that. It's almost a full guard because I lock his hip. I have very good hip control. In the basics, I can keep him far, I can keep him close, I can use his energy from a punch to go from far to close to get deep half sweeps to get everything else. So three quarter knee in guard. I can keep him away and I can suck him in off the punch and go to an underhook and then go to deep half sweeps or do get up to base, kick him off and get up to base. Um, from here, I can just hit him from my back with windshield wiper, hits, okay? If I can get wrist control on the forearm, you need to come to this angle sometimes. Move around a little bit sometimes. Sit up, just open it to base. So it's and then sit up. Okay, if I can get near wrist control, this wrist control, I can windshield wiper hits. Okay, if he comes down to me, I can do rear elbows. Okay, so come down, I can do rear elbows. If he leans back from windshield wiper hits, so lean back like you do, you're tired of getting hit. I do this, and then I can do a hip in speed. I lock his hip, I push. Careful, careful, you okay? Yeah. Boom, I took him over, I got a beautiful sweep, sorry. Boom, and I pass and everything else from that. Because of his leaning back from the hits, that's why this guard is great for MMA. All right? So I do the hip in sweep. Okay, and all it is is locking his hip, getting your base, and hipping up and in. It's very simple. He's a big guy. Yeah, he's actually weighing more than me this past few days. Okay, so um, from, yeah, it's hard to show on you, me. From here, you can, of course, go to Kaburos, okay? I can, I can bob and weave uh, against these punches. I can windshield wiper out, okay, and bleed punches and cover if I need it. I can extend him so he can't hit me, and I can hit him. That's very good. I'm controlling the hip, basic guard philosophy, and then I'm sitting up on a Kimura. From the Kimura, I can hit. I can actually tap him out in the three-quarter knee and guard. Okay, here. Okay. The three-quarter knee and guard also yeah. lends you to dive in. We're here fighting, whatever, to dive in for leg locks and for deep half sweeps for electric chairs and everything else. Okay, so all your deep half sweeps are there. You can, um, so you can do a lot. If you got wrist control, you can pound the guy from bottom. That's great, okay? Spread your wrist, spread your wrist. Sit back, relax. Okay, here. So I control him here and I push that knee into him. If I can get this, it's great. I got the Camaro open up. I got the hip and sweep. If he leans away, I got, I got deep hits. I can control them and extend so I can't get hit, cover and bleed off if you need to, because that's the only one that attacks you if you have this wrist control. 
Okay, Noguera kind of style adapted to this. If you have this wrist control, if you can manage to get this, then you can do an arm pass, arm drag. Wrist pass to wrist pass. Pass this round and through. Open up your guard. Do gift wrap to over here. Okay, then you got gift wrap. Keep, keep some posture. Okay, gift wrap. Then I do a reverse lockdown. This is reverse lockdown. Because I'm an angle, it's, it works. Reverse lockdown when your center spine is spine, center line, doesn't work so good. But on the side, reverse lockdown is great. Look at my legs, get it really good. Go on the other side, really get my legs. Okay, so here's my reverse, I can pinch and extend like usual. Here's my reverse lockdown. Okay, so here I end up with an arm pass, wrist to wrist pass, look at over here on his head. So the gift wrap over here. From there, I can just pull him and manipulate him. And that's always good. I can do stuff like this and pull his elbow in. Okay, I can cross face his nose. I can go for the exorcist crank here and then finish with my exorcist, exorcist crank like I hope you want to dream with. Okay, you can do the same thing if I end up with a wrist pass gift wrap to under the armpit. Now it's even better for the exorcist. Okay, I can pull this, control this man and get the exorcist. Okay, you can go palm, you can do one handed, extend, you can go palm to palm. You could do a rear naked choke Oki style if you want to do. You could have his face sideways, start putting pressure on the face, the face crank, put that bone in his wrist, and then you can torque him. Because I have this reverse lockdown, some brand new stuff, guys. Okay, let's show that again. Sorry, I'll go really slow. Bear with us, Christian, you're advancing the sport. Okay, so he, if I can get this wrist, okay, of course the other one's free to hit, but I gotta watch out for his hits, but I can pass wrist to wrist. Suck him in with the guard, with the legs, see that? That's gonna help pass this to get to gift wrap, or the gift wrap. The gift wrap, Hicks and Gracie style, go to the reverse lockdown, and then you go for the exorcist. If um, you want to do, with the reverse lockdown, you can pull things off in the, the twister position. Um, Whitey Bravo is famous for it. Look in the old Jeet Kune Do book. Bruce Lee sketched uh, Gene LaBelle's drawings of doing the wrestler's guillotine. You can go to baseball bat. Okay, you can push that there. And you can start working these kind of things. Okay, it's a baseball bat in the ribs, elbow in the ribs. Pass it in the head, do the rock, okay, and then hand to hand, do the rest of the neck crank. From there, you could also go to the truck position, do banana splits, pull on his knee, do, okay, do the crotch ripper, go here, put your head over here, that's a better position. Here, stretch this out. From there, bear with me, Christian, and pull this way a little bit. If you end up in this position, you can then pull this to you and do a reverse toe press. Okay, relax your foot, push your foot down. So I'm actually gonna bend it this way. I'm just letting you do it. I put this foot to this foot, and I do a leg press. I can leg press over a thousand pounds. His foot, his ankle, isn't gonna do uh, handle the reverse toe press. That's all from the gift, gift wrap reverse lockdown position. You can get you off of a punch in the three quarter guard, okay? You can also do uh, arm drags. If you're inside position, you can arm drag to all these different positions. Okay, so you can go here, here, suck them by, and just take the back. All your various ways of regularly taking the back are there from basically an arm drag like you do from butterfly or Marcelo Garcia type stuff. Okay, so you can go arm drag. There. So if you get inside here, you're blocking in here. Anytime I get in there, you can go here and arm drag. And I got a deep hook, and I got here, and I start working my way to the back. Uh, and then you really can choke and all that stuff. Short choke, whatever, flatten them out if you can, get on top of them. Um, from a punch, a three quarter, okay, three quarter knee and guard, locking a sip, I can extend them, I can suck them in. If he throws a right punch at my face, you put a frame up, hit your frame, and pass, roof block. Uh, like roof block and Kelly sticks on you. Okay, so I need it, punch, I need it, take the energy, adapt it, and pass it by. You can get the back from there. You can get gift wraps from there, right there. Okay, then I might go here. And do reverse elbows, watch the back of the head. Referee, okay, working here. Stretch them, whatever. From the punch. Okay, in there. Give me a fast punch. Take the energy, blend it. Meeting the roof and doing like the elbow defense standing, the rising sun block, that's what you're doing on the ground. Okay, so look up that video, the elbow defense video. 
put your ass again. 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 I go here. Maybe he leads me to get for it. There's a short choke, one handed short choke. Cool. So he's going to lead to different stuff. And then I put in the reverse lockdown. I got the gift wrap. Stretch him out. Do the face crank, exercise crank. Boom. If he gave me that arm, you can go here. Here, baseball bat. Whoa. Almost lost it. To the pass. To the, to the wrestler's guillotine twister. Stretch him out. To the truck position. Crouch reverse. Stretch him out. To here. Crouch or Banana split. Stretch him out. To the reverse. To the whole toe press. Um, sorry. There's a lot. I, I'm like crazy with this stuff. It just yeah. all came to me one night. Um, standing up. Okay, standing up to base. Okay, let's look at getting the deep half too. If, if I'm in here, anytime you're away, you can block, you know, get away from his hits and you can hit back, but then you can suck his hips in. And if you can suck his hips in, get the underhook, you can dive to deep half sweeps, you could go to the back, you could just open up to base because you got that underhook here, push off with your knee, extend with your shin, get up to base. Probably will kick him in the head, but um, you'll see you guys. Okay, so you see with that underhook, you can do all your half guard get ups from the three quarter knee and grip. Um, that was from, uh, I don't know where we went from that. Was that from a punch? Oh, by sucking you in. Okay, so you can suck the guy into the underhook and then get up from base there. You could just be blocking here and taking hits and sick of it, and you can kick him away. It's better, better to have an underhook, but even if you just had like face control, inside neck control, you can kick away. Round kick style with your shin, bam. Then boot to the chest, bam, kick off. Get up to base, back to bang, and maybe even goes to his back and I get on top. Um, so round kick and then boot, especially if you don't have the underhook, you're gonna have to boot. I suck him in, I get this underhook, then it's a different story. Then I can jack him up this way, get out this way. Okay, your typical half guard get ups or against the cage get ups you see everyone do with the underhook from a half guard from a lockdown or whatever. From any half guard, really. That underhook's key. So getting up to base, far wrist hitting, windshield wiper turns into him leaning away to going into a hip in sweep. Pull, sucking him in. You can suck him into that camaro with your hips, pulling him in with your legs. Use your body as one unit. Far arm, arm grabs, different gift wrap positions to the exorcist neck crank. Um, Short chokes are there, where your naked chokes are there, taking the back is there. Going to reverse half half guard, lockdown is nasty on that exorcist. Look at my exorcist videos and how Aoki won, twisting the spine in the opposite direction. You can then uh, go to the twister position, baseball bat. You can do the wrestler's guillotine, neck crank. Look at Bruce Lee's sketches of Gene the Bell's drawings. Been around a long time, it's in wrestling, guys. Um, but cool stuff, nonetheless, I've never pulled off a competition. You can go to the truck position, banana splits, crotch rippers, reverse toe press, and there's a lot from punches. You weave it and you go to all these positions. From the punches the other way, you might be able to sneak out and move by going under him. Um, let's see if that leads to anything. I don't think it does, but. Yeah, same position. Okay, so. Give me a right punch to the fish. Boom, that leads here, guys. Maybe he repositions right away, maybe he doesn't. Okay, good punch. Maybe I get the gift wrap. Okay. Um, there's also an arm triangle in here. Somewhere I thought it was from one of the arm drags or wrist passes. Uh, maybe just from sucking him into the underhook. Maybe then I can jack my head up and get the arm triangle, put the reverse lockdown in for pressure. Could go back a little bit. Reverse lockdown in for pressure. Put that arm triangle, put that wrist in my artery. I can press it. Okay, Jeremy Horn, that Chuck Liddell style. Um, so look for the arm triangles there. You're going to end up in that position a lot too. There's a lot of finishes, a lot of great stuff for MMA. This is particularly good because you're locking his hips. You can push him away, you can suck him in. And uh, guys, I think it's the next level. Uh, MMA is getting a three-quarter knee and guard. It's really easy. It's really easy to hip and sweep. It's really easy to kick off and get back up.